let's look at the american stock that will be trading uh, this week the week of the 8th of march 2021 the first company that i'm interested on is cisco system so as you can see cisco system is uh, about to reach uh, a resistance level that it had tried to break uh, a number of times so now we are anticipating uh, for cisco to break above the 50 dollar price and then if it does a uh, break above the 50 dollar price we expect cisco to continue to trade higher to reach a uh, 58 dollars per share so for now i will just wait and see how uh, to see whether cisco does manage to break above this uh, resistance level but if it doesn't then the stock is going to continue to trade lower Otherwise, if it breaks above it, we expect it to move all the way to $58 uh, per share. Uh, another company that uh, I was interested on is uh, Darling Ingredients. As you can see, the stock, it had previously reached uh, this all-time high. And then there was a bit of a pullback there. I think that was last week when the U.S. market was uh, having some a bit of challenges but the stock quickly recovered uh, as it went back up and then it broke above uh, this level the previous swing high near 70 dollars per share so now the stock is currently trading at 75 dollars per share we anticipate the stock to continue to trade and move up otherwise uh, we might see uh, some pullback here coming back to retest this previous uh, resistance level which can turn a support and then see the stock uh, continue to trade higher so if you miss the opportunity to buy anywhere near the 70 rent uh, per share 70 dollars per share you can wait uh, for that stock but that means that the stock has to pull back if the stock does not pull back then you will have miss, uh, missed this opportunity so you can buy it at current levels and set your stop just uh, below 70 dollars there so that even if it does pull back uh, it might not reach your stop level so that's the stock that we're looking uh, at uh, darling ingredients we currently have a position in that stock and also we have uh, a bit of an interest in dell as you can see dell has been trending up uh, ever since it broke outside uh, this level here as you can see uh, this uh, price here $70 per share was the previous resistance level the stock came back uh, it initially it didn't break above this level then there was a bit uh, of a pullback coming back to this uh, support level in here and then with the previous uh, the second attempt the stock managed to break above this uh, $70 price range it consolidated today a bit and so far it has started uh, to move up reaching uh, a price of 85 dollars per share so now yeah this stock is sort of a bit uh, extended especially if you want to take a new position but if you have um, already had a position in here then you can keep uh, that position in anticipating that the stock is going to continue to trade uh, further up and the last stock that we are looking at uh, is eastman chemicals as you can see the stock is also on an uptrend as after it had uh, broken outside this resistance level so now the stock uh, moved up consolidated a bit and then uh, it formed this uh, small trading range of which it has uh, broken outside this uh, resistant range so the stock is currently trading at 116 dollars per share so if you want to buy here you can just uh, set your stop level anywhere below uh, 108 rent per share just in case the stock reverses uh, to retest this breakout level otherwise you can just buy where it is and set your stop there just in case it does not reverse and then we might see that uh, the stock can continue to trade uh, further up so yeah these are the stock that we'll be looking at uh, in the US market for this week. Uh, it's Cisco system. As we mentioned that uh, Cisco system is on an uptrend. And then also we are looking at uh, Darling ingredients. We have a position there. 
and we also have a position at Dell as you mentioned that it broke out the previous resistance level and now now they have turned a uh, support and the stock is moving further up and the last stock that we spoke about is uh, Eastman Chemical Companies which is currently trading at 116 uh, dollars per share so those are the stocks that you are interested on in the US market thank you